Hello everyone and welcome back to another Android development tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over adding UI elements to the screen. So let's jump right into it. Um, let's go to the text. And so this is the text representation of what we just saw on the screen. So we have a constraint layout which is essentially the how the how our screen is laid out. So everything within um, these, this open, this, uh, excuse me, this body and this close, this closing tag, everything within that is inside of the constraint layout. So right now we have this text view inside of the constraint layout, and then here are our constraints right here, um, excluding this. This is our margin. But uh, the constraint essentially says um, where the uh, where each portion of this UI element is constrained to. So for instance, um, this left, the left side of the uh, text view is constrained to the left side of the screen. And so what that means is um, if this screen size was a lot bigger, no matter what, it would be in the center because the way this uh, text view is constrained, on all four sides, no matter what size of the screen it's going to be, it's going to work with that and um, can and always show up in the center. And so that's what a constraint layout does: is it works with the size of the screen and adjusts it accordingly, instead of having to adjust it manually for each screen size. All right. So and that's also you can take it, you can drag it around, and it will go wherever you'd like. Okay. So. Let's actually, we're going to drag that up here and we're going to remove this bottom constraint. And then we're going to take a button and we can just drag a button right in here. So there's a button right here in our toolbox. You can just click and hold it and drag it in here. So we're going to add some constraints. Click on that and then hold it and then get all the way down to the bottom and then let go. All right, and that is how you add constraints. Whoops. Okay. There we go. All right, now we have our button constrained. We can move it up a little bit. Okay. So now um, we can take our text view and move it down a little bit and actually constrain it to the top of the button here. Okay. So now we have a couple of UI elements that work together. Um, this is constrained to the top of the button, so no matter what, it will, um, it will work with the screen sizes to make sure that there's no overlap here. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and run this. And while we're running it, and while we're waiting for it to build, we can go take a look at some of the properties. So for instance, um, this text view has a text property, so we can set the text specifically right here. Um, we have other properties such as um, the layout width and height, um, and so right here, it actually says specifically wrap content, and that means that the layout width or the layout height, in this case, is going to be only as big as it needs to be. And so it's actually going to be as big as, um, as the content that's inside of it, and nothing more and nothing less. Same with the button here. Um, the width and height is only going to be as big as the button. So we can add, um, we can add lots of text here and it's going to accommodate for the button size is going to accommodate for that text so actually now that we've ran it we can go take a look and there you go so we have our button and we have our text we can go back and set this to say button all right so now that we've ran it and we've seen how we can actually add other elements to the screen um, Let's go ahead now, um, and in the next video, we're going to learn how we can actually um, have our Kotlin code interact with our UI code. And so then we can actually start making a program. So join me in the next one, and thanks again.